Good morning, 27th of February 2013. I've just been back to Leicester. Now you may, you may remember a week ago I went to see an 18 month old English Bull Terrier that was displaying quite severe aggression to the owners and if you read the blog from last week it was very difficult to get anywhere near the dog whilst it was in its cage because the behaviour it was demonstrating was quite was quite aggressive. Certainly to the point if you put your fingers in the cage it would have had a good nibble at your finger. Now it took an hour it was an hour last week to get the dog to calm down in its cage whilst we were there talking to it. We didn't even get, even get the dog out of the cage last week. And when I got there this morning, and the first question I asked the owner was, how's the week been? And she was sort of, hmm, no change. No, she, she was really quite deflated and frustrated still. And this is where it gets really interesting because the difference in perceived dif in perceived change is what makes the difference. Now she didn't think there's any change in the dog. Yet when I walked into the conservatory where the dog was in its cage, yeah, there was still a bit of grumbling and growling, but nowhere near the level of what I experienced last week. So there has been dramatic change now. When you get to push a dog on and really, really achieve something which we have today then it's absolutely tremendous because the owner's face there was brilliant because not only have we had the dog out of the cage she's been putting the dog back in the cage without the dog protesting one jot Ordinarily, putting the dog back in the cage when it's been out with the family is a major, major battle. That results in having to throw treats in the, treats in the cage and shutting the door very quickly behind the dog while it's in there. So, just to be able to walk the dog into the cage and for the dog to go in perfectly calmly, perfectly willingly, without any protest and, or any duress, was an absolute pleasure to watch. And the owner is delighted. She really is. She has a, a week again now to practice this, because I'm going back in a week to, to get the dog out on a walk, which is something else they struggle with. But the progress today of just relaxing the whole situation Removing the stress that the dog associated with being put back in the cage. We haven't used any food. Don't need to use food. The dog is now willingly trotting back into his cage. Having the door shut. No protest. No problem. Because he's getting the calm behaviour rewarded with attention when he's out of the cage. So the whole demeanour an expectation has changed and that is what has made such a massive difference today. Now I couldn't have done that today without the work the owners have done during the week and the difference they did make to the dog. That's what's allowed the progress to be made today and it just reinforces the point that it's always down to the owner. The owner changes the dog will change right with you. It's amazing and I love it.